The motive was money. The murder well planned. The weapons, a pepper grinder and an iron skillet. That's why Dearborn County authorities charged Charles Steve Stevenson today with murdering and robbing Lee Jennings in Aurora. Nine News reporter Tom McKee is live to break down the evidence against Stevenson. Tom? Well, Tanya Stevens is Stevenson is in the Boone County Jail right now, still charged with evidence tampering and with drug trafficking. However, because of what's in this detailed affidavit, he's now accused of murdering Lee Jennings for money, and if he's convicted, he could be sentenced to death. When Lee Jennings was found dead inside her Aurora home, police said she'd sustained multiple skull fractures. Later, they said that Charles Steve Stevenson was the last person to see her alive on Thursday, March 29th, the day she died. Prosecutors said today that she'd been beaten with a cast iron skillet and a very large pepper grinder. That probable cause affidavit indicates that uh, the def Charles Stevenson's DNA was on the pepper grinder and he could not be excluded as a mixture with Lee Jennings on the handle of the skillet. Dearborn County Prosecutor Aaron Nagengard and Aurora Police Chief Brian Fields said that Jennings kept large amounts of money in a home safe because she didn't trust banks. They said Stevenson knew this and robbed her because he was desperate to repay a debt to a family member to avoid going to jail. Mr. Stevenson needed to pay um, an aunt who he had borrowed money from $1,000 on Friday, March 30th. He, the investigation determined that he did not have that money on Wednesday. Stevenson also borrowed money two other times from Jennings and left IOUs in the safe. I hope it never happens to another family, not in Aurora, not in Lawrenceburg, Greendale, or any other community. But I know that if it does happen again, I know that we're going to get the same response. As a family, we only seek justice for my mom, Lee Jennings, who we miss very dearly. And at this time, we're comfortable in allowing the legal process uh, to begin. And, and we'll, we'll see what the results come uh, beyond that. Now, Ryan Phoebe said he doesn't think his family is going to recover from this for a very long time. And, of course, that's very understandable. Coming up at 6, neighbors of Lee Jennings react to the arrest, and they're very glad about it. Nine, Tom McKee, 9 News in Burlington. Back to you, Tanya.